Hey, it's Mr. Johns, and welcome to this first ever Grizzly Mountain Downhill Diecast Raceway event here at River Glen Junior High in, where am I? Where am I? Uh, Boise, Idaho is what I've been told. Uh, is that correct? Boise. Boise, Idaho. So my uh, sports casting career had been over for many years until I got a call from Grizz Sports Network asking me to come and broadcast this diecast race car event. So they sent me to Boise, and when I arrived, the track is uh, a little let's say underwhelming the uh, obviously the budget is small less than what I've seen in other raceways across the country here are a few photos I took as I entered today some extra parts laying around uh, obviously that they had not either installed yet or were throwing or throwing away uh, the track was in pieces there was a, f a few merges uh, and this is what it looked like this morning and the the race is mere minutes away and so here is a overhead look at the grizzly mountain downhill diecast raceway uh in all of its glory so it appears that it was a four lane track that merged down into two and then merged into one however uh this afternoon the track does not look like this at all it appears they changed their minds after what I was told. There was uh, some track uh, track falling apart yesterday, and so they had to rebuild as the, uh, the hill here, as it's called. It's not a jump, they say. It's a hill um, was causing the cars to crash, and so it was rebuilt as well. So after the track falling off the wall and cars crashing, it was rebuilt into a four-lane straight, purely straight drag race. There are no curves. There are no jumps. There are no merges. There's nothing tricky here, just pure, straight, fast speed. So let's take a look at the rest of the track and today's entries. The cars that have entered come from the 50th anniversary Hot Wheels series from 2018 there were six cars with a bonus secret car number seven and I hear that that car is here somewhere so we may see that today there should be a bone shaker there should be a twin mill they should be Roger Dodger there should be a 68 Dodge Dart a 64 Impala and a 64 Ford Ranchero now what's interesting this is a little trivia from me to you for free if you look at the back of this that's called a blister pack that's one piece of trivia for free a blister pack is the package that a Hot Wheels car comes in you'll notice that there is a mistake and so this is actually a collectible if you find one still notice that the bone shaker is correct but over here on the lower right the picture is of the bone shaker but it should be a 65 Ford Ranchero now the cars came in blister packs that looked like this. They were uh, dark black with gold and the theme was black and gold. In fact, the series is called the 50th Hot Wheels Anniversary Black and Gold Set or Series and the cars are all black with gold stripes and gold wheels and gold interiors. The one exception is, and there it is, the 67 Camaro which came in gold instead of the black. Now, if you were to look back, let's go backwards here and take a look at that blister pack one more time. Give me a second, there we go. You'll notice, oh, that's not where I wanted to, wanted to go. Technical difficulties. If you look at the upper right corner of the blister pack, it'll say this is car five of six. And there are six cars listed on the back of that blister pack, but most people didn't know it. Car number seven, was the 67 Camaro. It still has the 50th anniversary 
uh, logo on the side and is listed on the official Hot Wheels website as part of the anniversary black and gold set. Because there are seven cars, only four can race. So there was some arm wrestling and coin flipping going on just as I entered the building today. And these are the winners of that. So we have the 67 uh, Camaro. We have the twin mill, has two motors, uh, and probably the most famous Hot Wheels car of all. This is the Bone Shaker, and this is Roger Dodger. So a little close-up of each of these cars would be appropriate at this time. So 67 uh, Camaro. One thing I, I took some notes on this to make sure I did not uh, miss anything. The 67 uh, Camaro came out in 1968, which was the first year the Hot Wheels uh, were available. So 1968, and that's why in, in uh, 2018, there was a 50th anniversary. So this car has been out for a long time. So it has been produced off and on since 1968, and they are still making the 67 Camaro uh, today. Uh, there have been 198 different varieties or variations of this car. So if you only collected the 67 Camaro Hot Wheels car, you would have at least 198 cars to find and collect. And again, that car is the only one that shows up in gold chrome. Twin Mill. Twin Mill car. This was uh, a 1969 car, so it came out the second year that Hot Wheels was a thing. And um, it quickly became the number one most popular Hot Wheels car of all time. Hot Wheels uh, Mattel, uh, the corporation, made a full-size car that they drive around to conventions. And uh, I hear it's quite the sight to see and quite loud, as it does have two engines, which gives it its name, Twin Mill. Uh, it was produced 1969 to the present in different uh, varieties, and there are 74 different variations. Next up, we have the Bone Shaker. Now, this is supposed to look like a old hot rod uh, from the, you know, 40s and 50s. And I love the fact that it has the gold gas tank in the back, gold seats, gold pipes, just gold everywhere, except for it's the only car in the series that does not have gold wheels. So it has gold trim around the wheel, but the wheel itself is black. Uh, the Bone Shaker has had, oh, it's only only came out in 2006, and so it's one of the newer Hot Wheels cars. And since 2006 to the present, it's had 115 different variations, and so that tells you just how popular this car is. Our fourth car is Roger Dodger. This is based on the 73 Dodge Charger, so kind of a play on words there. Uh, if this was a real car, you would have a hard time seeing over that ginormous engine sticking out of the hood. This car came out in 1974, and it has been produced off and on uh, since then, and there are 59 varieties of this car available. These are your four cars that will be racing today down this track, and they're off. So we have the four cars in lanes one, two, three, and four with a strong finish from the gold Camaro. So we have Bone Shaker out of the race quickly. Now, as we before we go any further, let me explain how this works here. Uh, the gold Camaro is in lane one, the twin mill in lane two, Bone Shaker was in lane three, and Roger Dodger in lane four, and there is no uh, shakeup or or uh, changing of lanes in the race. Cars, once they draw a lane, they stay in that lane the entire race until they are eliminated. So the car that finishes last in each heat is eliminated. So theoretically, there should be four heats until we have a champion. All right, so the cars are going to get set one more time. We are going to see them race down the track again. Oh, the Camaro spins out and gets hung up on the rail. And we only have Twin Mill and Roger Dodger finishing. So when that happens, 
uh, the, the Camaro does receive third place and the points for third place, but is not able to finish the race and move on. Now, as far, far as points go, first place receives five points, second place three, third place two, and last place one. Those points can be used later on in further series um, when cars go up against each other winner against winner so here we are in the championship final race of the day we have both cars heading down quickly it looks like roger dodger over the hump to the finish line and takes the finish and the winner for sure let's check the uh yep it looks like they are telling me in my ear that uh, that was roger dodger to finish and so as mentioned before the point system is as follows roger dodger first place with five points twin mill second place three points 67 Camaro, even though he hung up on the rail and didn't finish that last race, receives two points. And Twin Mill, Twin Mill, that is a typo. There's another typo. This low budget, low budget raceway. That is Bone Shaker, third, uh, there's another typo. Fourth place, people, get it right. Bone Shaker, fourth place, one point, one point. Now that's how the race finishes today. I hope they will send me to uh, someplace with a little higher budget so I can uh, at least have a decent meal and a decent hotel. For now, Mr. Johns is out.